everyone welcome back to my channel so today in this video we are deep diving into a replit agent so for that by using this ai agent you can create any app or website that is production ready in some minutes only so we are going into a deep dive into this thing that how it is happening and uh, how the app has been created so just login in this replit.com ai i will be providing link to the description link in the description so now just you have to give some prompt and we have a free starter plan also here so in that as you can see you can create free apps that is zero out of three and there are agent checkpoint that is zero out of ten so we are having a free plan here so if you like this you can update your plan also so let's see how it's happening so i'm just writing i want to create a jira like software where user can create tickets for the work add description priority total hours and comments okay so they have also given improve prompt option so just click on that and the prompt will be improved according uh, by the ai only so as you can see it has been improved a web-based project management system similar to jira that allow user to create and manage work tickets with detailed information core feature visual references style guide so all has been given by this ai only so now let's just start on creating app so as you can see it's started building the app and you will also get the preview of that here also so it has started it is reviewing your message So as you can see, uh, it will be asking users that approve the plan. So they have created some plan and uh, you have to that as you can see the agent is paused. So you have to approve the plan and start. So now let's just approve it. So as you can see that I have approved the plan. So they are building the initial prototype. It has started just right now. As you can see the initial prototype, the schema dot ts has been started work writing so as you can see this much files has been created right now and you can roll back to here also and it is also free okay So as you can see it is now also writing more code as you can see they have written many of the files as you can see so it is building the okay so it has also reconnected the agent is thinking thinking the, okay so it is installed in dependencies so it has also installed the dependencies as you can see npm audit fix npm run npm init and the package has been installed so as you can see the configured and start application so they have also started the application here uh, they have to took a screenshot of it and they are reviewing the changes okay as you can see so it has now started our application this is a ticket that is to do in progress done so you can create on create a ticket so add uh, x to sql agent description so we have to add description agent in our tool so we have priority like low medium high so let's just give one high estimated hours that is six hours create a ticket okay so it has created a ticket then we can add comments here I have started my work on this add comment okay so as you can see it has started 
so in this we don't have any option of going into in progress and done so let uh, me tell you so can verify if the particular work is board is working please check if you can view the uh, canon board with column to do in progress done create a new ticket using the create ticket button and click on ticket to view its detail okay so i can done add database to store user data so i will be making it may maybe later okay so yes it is working now i want that a user can put the ticket in in progress and in done okay so now i have given this thing to the replit agent now let's see how it is performing so i will implement a drag and drop functionality to move tickets between different state just column to do in progress done in the kanban board okay so what this is the main thing that we want so it is considering options and now let's wait So as you can see, can you try dragging in a ticket? Okay, now let's just create some ticket. Testing. I am testing this estimated hours as you can see here also. Okay, four. And then we're creating. So we are we can put this in in progress. So we get ticket status updated successfully and we can put this in done functionality also so yes it is working perfectly now give option in nav bar to toggle between light mode and dark mode now let's see how it performs Now, so it is reviewing your message. So I will add a component. I will create a new, new neighbor combine implement them. Okay. So now it is writing the code. Let's wait for it. So as you can see, they have restarted the application, present a result to the user, took a screenshot. So there is the check. Okay, so as you can see, project manager, you can hear, but it is just uh, making the nav bar only. Okay, so now let's just refresh the page and see if something happens. Okay, so let me tell them the issue is dark mode is getting to nav bar only i want it gets switch to dark mode in full website now let's see how it is Okay, so I will fix the dark mode to apply the entire website by updating the necessary styling configuration. So it is determining the next steps and it is writing the code. So it has the also given the what's the issue was that and it is editing that issue. Editing client SRC. So now let's update the board component to use the dark mode compatible colors. Okay, so it is also showing that what was the previous code and what they have updated so now let's see okay so they have restarted the application 
they have also took, took a screenshot of it and now let's just see how we fit like could you please check if dark mode okay let's check okay so it has now perfectly fine working on here so let me tell them yes it works perfectly now let's see what more functionality this AI is giving so now we will tell so they only let me record this progress so they are recording the progress and so ready to share so deploy this app in few clicks so but we don't have to deploy this so they have like postgres sql database quick ticket searching and there are different uh, like customizer board column collaborative real-time editing ai power ticket suggestion drag and drop ticket prioritization so we will be doing postgres sql database integration only but i have clicked uh, i haven't clicked for postgres sql database i have clicked on searching functionality so we create a template database for you Instead, your database will be post pending for direct integrity your database will be permanently deleted okay so they have created a temporary database now let's see how it is so they have reviewing your changes and then there are the changes you can review they have took a screenshot of it and uh, as you can see there are our changes checkpoint access so you use 50 percent of starter plan okay no worries for that so could you please create a new ticket and verify to save to database also check if you can direct tickets between column let me just create some ticket okay so ticket has been created and they have created the database also so it help it will be stored in the database okay so this has been done open web view view so it will open the web view of your project this is the web view as you can see here okay so now let me tell that create search funks functionality now let's see how it is creating the searching functionality as you can see i will help you add search functionality to the project we will implement a search feature so it will be created by this thing so as you can see how much easy it is to create some website or app using the Replit agent so please try this agent and create some of the beautiful apps as you can see there are dark mode here also so you can make the ui more even more better by just prompting the thing so as you can see i will help you add search functionality as you can see the progress here you will also get the code if you want to download the whole code as you can see you have got the code you can just download as a zip so you will be getting the whole code from here only as you can see it has done their changes they have took a screenshot and now we will see that they have created a search functionality as you can see search tickets from here only so let me see if it is working or not So I have added a search bar could do searching for tickets by typing the search bar it should filter ticket based on the title and description okay so just first refresh this page and now let's see if something happens here also we can refresh this okay so we have done like test so make put it in to do but I don't think it is happening as you can see nothing happens here like searching 
no it is not working so i have tell them that it is not working like nothing happens on searching on creating on clicking on enter button also on clicking on the search of functionality also nothing happens so i have tell that thing so i will help you to fix the fun search functionality let me check what's wrong and makes the necessary correction so they will be working on it and as you can see they see that properly haven't properly passed the search query prompt so let's fix this issue so it is fixing the issue it is editing the whole file and as you can see different files has been generated from here and you can download this also if you want it <laughs> and there are different functions available like agent assistant console view you can open the console you can web open the web view you can deploy here you can date uh, create uh, the database that we have created that we can also open from here as you can see there are tables see my data so you can see the data from here okay so they have uh, do this thing now let's okay so now let's me create a one like Django backend high and two hours okay now they have created like so if I write taste then it will be coming and if you write Django then if you write backend and then okay so by this way it has been done and then as you can see it is a responsive website as you can see this thing also so if you if i'm doing this then it is going on here if i'm doing this it is very much a nice way here you can see our tickets that have been stored in uh, postgres so by this way you can do this and you can uh, click on this and you can uh, deploy here so for that you have to update your plan for deployments if you have to deploy the thing so you can now down, just download from here and you can use this thing so you can do that thing also so in this way you can create any of the website you want by just uh, giving some prompt and uh, talk with the agent just play with this thing so till then keep coding and stay tuned for more AI related videos till then keep coding bye